Well, folks, it finally happened. Minneapolis residents have now set up a police no-go zone, and they're calling it the Free State of George Floyd. Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Obvious, and today on the internet, we're going to talk about a new autonomous zone over in Minneapolis. Now, many of you may have heard of the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. It happened when a bunch of left-wing activists, many of which belonged to Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and other left-wing groups, and they took over in Washington, and were calling it an autonomous zone, where there were no police allowed. A similar thing is happening in Minneapolis. Here you can see on Twitter. Kyle Hooten says, Minneapolis residents have now set up police a police no-go zone, and it looks like they're calling it the free state of George Floyd. So you can see here in the following tweet, you can see this sign and it says, you are now entering the free state of George Floyd. And you can see the barricade that they set up. They say that Black Lives Matter. They're saying some very rude acronyms that basically is a slur against cops. They're saying, eat the rich, because a lot of these people are communists. Now, we're going to talk all about the free state of George Floyd. But before we get into this, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell button for updates so you never miss this content. And if you like this video and enjoy the content that I produce, please share this video online and with others. And now, a quick word from our sponsor. Double Tap Audio. Are you tired of your headphones breaking? Double Tap Audio offers high quality durable headphones. They're made from once fired brass, made in America, and come in a variety of different styles. You can get the Double Tap R1 headphones, which you can see here, the R2 modular headphones. The modular headphones come with interchangeable parts, and you can even upgrade to Bluetooth. Listen to music wirelessly on the go. One charge lasts 20 hours. If you're interested in getting a pair, click the link down below in the description. So here we are, folks, with Andy No, and he says, A George Floyd autonomous zone in Minneapolis is blocked off by barricades and checkpoints. A business owner within the zone was violently beaten unconscious by a man who demanded money. Responding police and ambulance were stopped by aggressive protesters. Hashtag BLM. Now, one thing I really want to point out with all of this is, isn't it so funny that every single time an autonomous zone gets set up, the first thing they do is build walls. It's almost like walls actually work. It's almost like in order to have any sort of state or nation or let's say country, you need walls around it to protect your borders. Do you want to build a wall? Shit, I, I guess they're all Trump supporters. Travel around the four block autonomous zone. The fortification is right there at every intersection. Messages aimed at police with the George Floyd Memorial right in the heart of the zone. Getting in and out is not as simple as just driving or walking through those barricades. Okay. So as you can probably tell, a group of citizens are policing this zone and it's not very good for businesses. A business owner, for example, was violently beaten unconscious by a man in the zone who was demanding money. And we saw the same thing in Chaz. What ended up happening was not some left-wing socialist anarchist utopia, it turned out to be gangland. And these groups would go around and they would, uh, well, simply put, they would extort businesses for protection money, kind of like the mob. Now, unfortunately, there already has been a victim and he's speaking out against the George Floyd autonomous zone. Here's a little bit of the clip. Can the police come in here? Do you see the police in here? No, I don't see any police and I'm telling everybody any area with outlaw, you cannot live in it. It all starts August 5th when this man enters Dan's auto body garage in the middle of the zone around 5.40 p.m. You can see the suspect walking into the shop's office. He trashes a desk and then demands money. And long story short, he gets beaten unconscious. Like, they literally knock him out, punch him again, and then the man stomps his head. Clearly, it was a mostly peaceful assault. But this really highlights the main issue with a lack of police and leftist ideology. In my opinion, these autonomous zones are nothing more than an excuse for criminals to take advantage of others. I have no doubt in my mind that the man who hurt him was nothing but a lawless criminal savage. 
that belongs behind bars, rotting in prison. You see, it's people like this that make a civilized society impossible. They're also the same people that make the left-wing socialist anarchist utopia impossible as well. It's the same reason that why communism never works. Bad people destroy societies. And you know, all of this is over George Floyd, who now we know, based on the evidence, ended up, uh, okay, well, for those of you who don't know, George Floyd swallowed a package of illicit substances in order to avoid possession charges, and he ended up overdosing as a result. At least this is what the evidence and footage seem to indicate. This isn't the first time George Floyd did this. He did it in a prior arrest, I believe, some years ago, where he ended up having to go to the emergency room. This time, unfortunately, the police officers did not know that he swallowed these, uh, these substances and he OD'd. It had nothing to do with the arrest. It had nothing to do with the, the hold that he was under with the knee. Turns out that knee hold is approved by the state, it's approved by the police department, and it does not block airflow. Now here's the amazing part, folks. Minneapolis is currently clown world, and I'll tell you why. The city spokesperson and the city itself are denying that there is any autonomous zone at all. Here you can see, a city spokesperson did issue a statement that said, in part, quote, there is no autonomous zone in the area of 38th and Chicago Avenue, or anywhere else in the city of Minneapolis. Laws and enforcement responsibilities have not changed for any part of the city. The statement also said the city is in negotiations with people occupying the zone and is working toward a phased reopening of the area sometime before winter. This is absolutely hilarious. I mean, think about the clown world here. They are literally saying in one breath, there is no autonomous zone, it's not real. And then they're saying, we are negotiating with the autonomous zone. Yeah, okay, it's an autonomous zone. And I wish they would just come out and admit it. And the city is absolutely falling apart as people flee the lawless Democrat run wasteland. People moving out of Minneapolis telling us they don't feel safe. Businesses shutting down for the same reason. It's been called an autonomous zone, a free zone, or even a no-go zone. A rise in violent crime inside those barricades is now raising concern among some city council members. The business owner who was assaulted had a broken cheekbone, his teeth were missing, he had stitches in his head, and he was knocked out. Now here it goes on to say that Minneapolis police said it took 14 minutes now keep in mind, one minute can be the difference between life and death in an emergency situation. 14 minutes is a lifetime. An internal Minneapolis Police Department report obtained by KSTP said, quote, the crowd from the George Floyd Memorial began moving towards us and people were hollering that they were going to kick our asses and that we would have to end them. So you can clearly see that the people who are running this zone are a bunch of lawless, leftist, insane people. They were trying to keep emergency services from saving someone's life. And that tells you everything you need to know about the radical left. They're honestly just the left. I mean, let's be honest, the left is, is more radical than ever. So America Howard, who works with the citizens group to help keep order in the autonomous zone, told KSTP, the internal police reports are misleading at best and false at worst. Liars. Yeah, they're absolutely lying. I don't believe them for a second. You know, I've been seeing a lot of this from the left lately. There is no autonomous zone. Oh yeah, there's no war in bossing say either. But that, my friends, is pretty much the story. I think it goes without saying that these autonomous zones need to be shut down. We cannot have lawlessness in our country. People need to vote these people out of office, vote the Democrats out, and vote for some Republicans in common sense policy. We're gonna leave off with the following comment. Texas Maid says, I hope these people enjoy the next 20 to 30 years of business leaving. No investors, no development, no job creation. I'm sure it's all worth it though. But that my friends is merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know down below in the comment section. As always, you can support my channel by joining me on Patreon or Subscribestar. If you want to donate, visit my donor box page or send me crypto. 
I'm accepting several currencies, and let me know if you want another one added. Another way to support the channel is to visit my merch store or one of my sponsors. I have a great selection of sponsors with a variety of products you'll love. And one easy way to help the channel is simply to share this video. Let everybody know about the free state of George Floyd. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.